Hey guys, Tech Tech Man TV here, and welcome to today's episode of Tech Talk. And this episode of Tech Talk actually has some pretty interesting topics. They're both related to Google, and I find them really interesting myself, so hopefully you will as well. The first topic is actually relating Google TV. And Google TV is not actually going to be a branded Google TV that's going to be released. It's actually a new platform of TV called Google TV. And Google has partnered up with Sony, Intel, and Logitech to make Google TV. They have actually been developing it for a few months now. And there's actually been some limited tests with Dish Network already with Google TV. So what Google TV is and what it's for is that, number one, it's going to be in one of two forms, most likely. Number one, it's going to be just implemented into your TV, not sure how, nobody knows for sure. Or it may be in a set-top box, and Google has actually made a prototype set-top box, which is what some people familiar with the topic say. Google TV is going to be powered by Android, and it's actually going to use Google Chrome to navigate, and you're going to be able to view web apps such as Twitter, Hasa, and Flickr straight from your TV. You'll be able to tweet and do stuff like that. And you're also going to be able to watch YouTube, Hulu, and sites like that directly from your TV. Now that is something I find really interesting and I will be definitely interested in this project once it develops more. Google TV is actually going to be open source and it's going to be powered by Intel's Atom chips. The second topic in this video is actually related to a car. And you're probably thinking, huh, how's Google have anything to do with a car? And Google Android is now going to be powering the DVD slash GPS system on a car that's going to be coming out next month at the Beijing Auto Show. This car is actually called the Rode 350, and sorry if I pronounce that a little bit off, I don't know how to pronounce the word. Anyhow, this car is actually going to be available next month, April 23rd, but only in China, unfortunately. It's not going to be available anywhere else. It's a Chinese brand car, and it's actually going to be showcased at the Beijing Auto Show and it's made by the Shanghai Automotive Industry Corporation. This car is only going to cost $10,000 to $19,000, so it's definitely very affordable, and that's at US dollars, by the way. And the coolest part about this car is that the GPS slash DVD system is actually powered by Android 2.1, so the most updated version of Android and how this is going to work is you're going to be able to access real-time traffic reports, uh, directions, you're going to be able to access the internet and even a online chat. And so one thing people are saying about this is that, wow, how unsafe is that? And yes, that is definitely going to be unsafe. When you hear someone messages you on the online chat, boom, you look over it and then you have a big possibility of getting in a car accident. Besides the fact that this is going to be very unsafe to have on your car, it's going to be incredibly cool to have on your car if you get one. And like I said already, it's only available in China, so yeah. And yeah guys, that's basically it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and also make sure to comment below on your opinion on the topics I discussed in this video. And yeah, bye.